Hey guys, me, Ronald Chris Tomer here with this Monday afternoon mountain weather update. I want to go to the Sierra. Let's go to Tahoe. This is Mount Rose where we're seeing snow move through on the very southern end of this, this front that's moving through the Pacific Northwest. And uh, the Mount Rose looking good. You can see the snow coming down there. And that is where the snow is, as they say on Mount, uh, up at Mount Rose. So up to Palisades, Tahoe, also seeing some snowfall here. This is from the Siberia Express. A little lower down you can see i mean everything's coated in snow it looks like it might be a little bit warm uh, at lower elevations but nonetheless it is snowing i'm thinking the snow levels at about 6500 to 7000 feet there around the tahoe area all right let me take you to radar and show you what this looks like so here's the, the entire west and you can see the front is really delivering this precip. So it's rain, snow, California, depending on elevation. Precip up through Idaho, Washington, Oregon, moving into BC, both the coastal range and the interior. Let's zoom in though on California. You can see that blue, which is snow uh, moving through a lot of Tahoe. And it'll probably brush Mammoth on its way through as well. But all of this, this entire front now, is going to be moving towards the inner mountain west, the rest of Idaho, Montana, Wyoming, Utah, and eventually Colorado. Let me just show you what this looks like on the uh, on the water vapor satellite. So on this, your oranges and reds are the drier air aloft, and your moistures and the whites and the blues. And big storm system right here, there's your spin sending this front out ahead of it. That's what's cutting through Tahoe. And we'll be moving through the rest of the inner mountain on 11-12. It's a fast-moving storm, fast-moving front. It doesn't have a lot of moisture with it, but it should have just enough lift to put down some light to moderate accumulations across the interior. Now behind it, another big area of low pressure. And this afternoon, it still looks like it. At some point between these two storm systems, it's going to send some energy down into the southern tier, and that's going to become uh, a pretty big player as a southern track storm in the extended forecast. So we'll look at all that uh, coming up here. Here are my latest uh, snow timeline dates. Best odds of snow for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, Tahoe, and also the interior BC area. So for example, uh, Tahoe, you've got snow happening. Um, the next shot, it's obviously it's snow now, but the next shot is going to be late 11-13 or 11-14 with moderate accumulations. And then again on 11-18, light to moderate accumulations. Interior BC, snow continues in waves. Uh, tonight through 1114 with heavy accumulations and 1117 and 1118 with heavy accumulations. All right, let's go to the latest uh, water vapor, um, well, the latest forecast radar and satellite. Um, so this is by 530, and you can see it's basically what I was showing you on radar. That's the current state of affairs. By the time we get to tomorrow morning, all of that is headed towards the Wasatch, the Hyuenas, uh, the Tetons, the rest of Idaho, Big Sky, and eventually Colorado, snow up in a BC as well. Uh, by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon, it's it's snowing in western Colorado and continuing to build in. Leftover snow on the backside through the Tetons and the Wasatch. And then it's done. A little bit of leftover snow early 11-13, and then the whole thing's gone. And then we refocus on that big low pressure moving into the Pacific Northwest. That's going to have a lot of snow for a lot of BC in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, the high cascades and the volcanoes and that also brushes tahoe and mammoth or tahoe and shasta on its way through and that rolls up into the northern tier but here comes the next storm system you can see that uh, hitting california washington oregon and that also snows up and down the sierra and that goes all the way down to mammoth with that one and then watch what happens with that energy. It moves into the interior utah wyoming idaho now watch what happens on the southern end of it here comes the uh, the area of low pressure. So that comes up from the south and blows up into a storm system. And it looks like it did in this morning's update. It comes through the four corners, snows hard, even over parts of Utah, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado. And look behind it, there's another storm system hitting the west coast. So then that storm crawls up through Colorado with snow, and another one comes in on its coattails with another shot of snow from many of the same places. So there's three or four different storm systems here that were that I'm watching over the next seven to nine, maybe 10 days. Here are my latest numbers. So as far as snowfall, rest of today through tomorrow, pretty light stuff, one to four in Colorado in the mountains, uh, three to six over the Wasatch, maybe seven down at Bryan Head, one to three through the Tetons, a bit more up in Big Sky. Um, some of the bigger numbers are up in the parts of uh, coastal range of BC into the Pacific Northwest. Second time period looks like this. 
Uh, and again, you're looking at probably two or three different storm systems combined, so it doesn't all come at one time, but anywhere in purple is over a foot. Let me start in the Sierra. Um, probably 8 to 12 from Tahoe up to Mammoth, less or 8 to 12 from Tahoe up to Shasta, less down at the, the Mammoth area. Um, in Utah, probably, and I'd put, I'd move those numbers up just a touch, probably 8 to 12 there and six down in Bryan Head. Now, Colorado and New Mexico, special case here because you've got that low coming up from the south, which produces the bulk of what you see here. And we could be looking at maybe one to two feet, especially across southern Colorado and northern New Mexico, and about a foot almost everywhere else up in the central and northern mountains. So good stuff right there. Now, up in Wyoming, four to six in the Tetons, more up around Big Sky uh, and Bridger Bowl. And look at the numbers in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, Washington, the high cascades, the volcanoes up to parts of BC. Big numbers, one, two, maybe even three feet in a couple of spots. But certainly look at the numbers through interior BC. Um, some places like Revelstoke down to Red Mountain, we could be looking at a foot or two. Um, and then less snow as you come down into the Banff area. But again, this is from two or three different storm systems. Let me take you back to the first period. Rest of today through tomorrow, pretty light with this front. And then the remaining two or three storm systems generate some significant snowfall across the West. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon, evening, uh, weather update on this Monday. Thank you for tuning in here and take care.